First dunk I did to break the backboard, I had a hard time naming that one. So I simply called it my chocolate thunder fly, Robozine cry, glass breaking, teeth shaking, rub roast, bun toaster, wham bam, thank you ma'am, I am Jan. Right by Jankovic, he drives, gets the ball to Crawford, he stuffed it. Crawford was way up and slammed it home. We're fortunate we didn't have a broken backboard. You could just see the flex in that rim. This goal is designed to withstand normal hanging on. But when struck with velocity of a player, of the physical ability the modern player has, tremendous energy is unleashed on the basket and transferred back to the glass. In order to absorb some of that shock, the initial shock, we have built this goal to release on 230 pounds. Once the pressure is off of it, it instantly returns to playing position and the game continues. The reason uh, I like this rim so well is throughout the years I've done a lot of dunks and I, at times I have sprained my wrists, sprained my fingers, got my fingers caught in the rim holes itself. And if this had been a regular rim, I would have destroyed it along with the backboard. Tossback designed this goal with two purposes in mind, not to change or alter the game in any fashion and to provide the added safety measure. The external bracing has been taken off, therefore eliminating dangerous hang-up areas. Another change demanded by the NBA was to modernize the manner in which the net is put on and streamline it. Today's player is around the rim so much that there's hand damage and finger injury, so that has been streamlined. I like I liken to compare this goal with a fire extinguisher. We hope you never have to use it, but if it's needed, we want it to work. That uh, tossback hoop there, it's almost all indestructible. The hoop the dog can't break. Believe me, I've tried.